Okay, so the work that we're doing with the dam this weekend has to do with the overflow. So, if that's the dam over there, what we've done is we've inserted a 100 millimeter pipe through the dam wall. Normal PVC pipe goes through there, and then at that point here, there's a cross section. There's a elbow, 90 degree elbow, and then I've inserted a pipe to exactly that level there. So the water overflows in there and comes out this end here and continues down the stream. That way we keep the dam level at exactly where we want it to be. So if there's a big flood, the maximum level to which it can go is there and it will be able to drain away. So we shouldn't have any erosion through here by keeping that at that level. Except the problem is that all the warm water is near the top here and all the most aerated water is at the top. Why? Because the, the wind blowing along here aerates that water um, and also the duckweed which is very good for the fish goes down this pipe. So what we've done is we've inserted a collar like that. Just really an old bucket with a floating device made out of expanded foam, high density foam. It floats in this way making it possible for water only to come in through there. So the design of the collar is basically a bucket which I've cut the bottom out of so that there is cut out a knife then around here high density foam the kind of foam that you use for a hiking mattress I've tied that around there with a nylon string and that's it. That's then inserted over the 100 millimeter overflow pipe, like that. The collar sits something like that, and that goes to the dam. And then the water level sits at about that level there. Water then flows in from underneath, and then in through. Easy peasy. Any questions? Let me know. We've installed a collar around the outflow pipe from the dam. You can see where we are here. The dam's stretching around us like this. The dogs are on the farm again today. Uh, they've had a break for a while since the cattle have been here because they weren't very friendly with the cattle. But they seem to be much better behaved now. Maybe the cattle also are more relaxed. So that collar that we see around there helps the inlet pipe, the 100 millimeter inlet pipe we installed previously that keeps the dam at this existing level that and now doesn't draw water in from right the surface water which is most oxygenated and which is most warm so we want the oxygenated water for the fish and we want the warm water for the fish and we want the duckweed for the fish so before the collar all the floating duckweed would flow down into the overflow but now because it's drawing water from slightly deeper down you can see it doesn't take any duckweed so very practical very simple technology that we've devised here to manage our water quality and i'm sure it's going to be a great success